Look at the love. Look at the motherfucking love. Look at how you know. Take the square files, let's see. foundation I'm using is Black Radiance. It's from, I got it from Walmart. It's probably like $6 shit. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't really pay much attention. This, this is not full coverage at all. So I do a couple streaks for this just because it's like, it's kind of my skin tone. And then with the cream to powder foundation that I'm going to use, it's kind of darker. So like them mixed together makes my, like my color. I guess like somewhat my color. It's always hard to find my color, like with the undertones and shit. Like maybe if I really just go like deep, deep searching, but I just don't want to spend sixty dollars on some foundation. And most of the time, when you're trying to get your color, color like you gotta go kind of high end, and mm, that's just a lot. That's just a lot, honey. I'm kind of cheap. I ain't even gonna lie. We bargains when we shop, honey, and we make it look good. Like, if you know how to make it look good, you're going to make it look good with any price. Any price. Like, that's why I like, I like people who can do high-end, low-end. It's nothing wrong with getting high-end stuff. Like, if you got it, baby, do it. That's how I feel about surgery, too. If you don't like something about your body and you got the money to do it, just do it. Fuck what everybody else think, like. Right? Because, trust me, if they had it, they'd be doing it, too. Like, but I just, I, I'm just cheap. I also don't really got it like that. So maybe, but say I still can't see myself like when I ever like start making money, like that type of money, see myself just spending all that money on that type of shit. I just, I just personally can't see myself doing that, but I don't judge people who do it because why the fuck not? You only get one life. Why not try to live the best life you can? Whichever way you think is the best life you can. Like, whatever you think is best. It's all about what you think is best. Like... Gotta go around them edges. I hate getting makeup in my like hair, but the shit wipes off, and I be having to wash my baby hairs every night, anyways, because of the edge control. Like I do not like just powdering edge control on top of edge control. That's when that shit turns white. So, like, girl, just when you get in the shower at night, wash your face. Wash your motherfucking edges and let that shit freeze up overnight and just fix them in the morning. Stop trying to keep that shit laid. That shit, that's nasty. Especially if you wear makeup. You got, that's why y'all be break. that's why people be breaking out around their forehead. Because you just letting that makeup sit on your fucking hairline because you don't want to get your edges redone. And some people, some people don't know how to do edges behind Even with that shit on, it's not the answer. Which one should I use? These is like, I'm gonna use the LA Pro Girl, LA Girl Pro Concealer. You just get them from the hair store, they like $3.99, but they really good, really good, really good. Trust me, they're really good. But these is two, this one I use a lot, and it always looks good. This is one that I never really like. I opened it, but I ain't never used it because. I probably did use it and didn't like it. But yeah, no. I'm just using one that I like. Which is fine. Which I knew that. I know it's fine. I love everything fine. Everything fucking fine. You see both of them. Then they're squeezed out. Everything fine. I love it. All concealers fine. They like. That's what I lean more to. And I don't even pay attention to, like, the name of the shit. Like, I just go based off of what it look like. It's in my foundations. I always pay attention to the name of foundations. Because I'm not about to buy hella foundations. That shit expires. Even concealer expires. But I, I get hella of them. And I know I'm going to use them. But I'm not always using foundation. So that shit, it just be a waste of money. So I pay attention. When I run out of one, that's when I go get a new one. Because no. 
and I tried to use one time before I knew that makeup expired. I used that shit before and it broke me out so bad. Like what the fuck? The concealer sit just so I don't know. I just let it sit because I like to blend out my contour first. So I put it on there. I remember somebody saying something about why you let it sit, like it just giving more coverage. That's probably a fact. I'm gonna test that out one day because I don't even really know. I just let it sit, like. I only do a little contour because uh -uh. contour can get a little crazy. You get real. RuPaul real quick and it's like kind of dark mm. Mm. I used to have something though I like it but like you will with it being so dark doing a lot will you can tell that you did it fucking lot I'm going to blend that out You want to be on top? <laughs> I applied to go on that show one time, and then I saw the requirements. You had to be at least five. It was either five nine or five ten. Put me on four eleven. I ain't even. I tried to apply to be like a model somewhere so many times in my height. They always told me I'd be a commercial model. I don't want to be. I want to do runway. Like I want to do that type of shit. Like I want to be all over the world, but because I'm height impaired, I can't. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Mulani Beige Concealer for Pack Shine Proof Powder. Yes, honey. I actually love this. I thought it would be like way too light for me, but it don't even look, not even on camera, it don't even look too light. And I love it. I love this on all skin tones. Like me and my sisters, we are all different colors. And I didn't use this uh, exact, like this palette, this color on all different shades. It's like I got one dark, they both darker than me and then I got one lighter than me. I didn't use it on all colors and like, it's good on all colors. Right now my light sister, I never did my uh light skin sister's hair, but I say hair. I do her hair all the time. I ain't never did her makeup. So this might be too dark for her cause it's beige, but like on uh, my skin tone and like girls darker than me, this is bomb to set your under eyes with and it look good all day I swear it does even when you get shiny throughout the day and you just want to touch up an area like all parts of your face you can touch up and this won't change the color it won't do nothing it'll just take the shine away like I love 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 this powder and it's cheap it's like seven dollars like why not all day so that powder is really good powder is bomb ass powder to set you with but you will get oily up throughout the day and you will have to go back in and like 
such as some areas but if you bake You'll be good for like a good eight hours. Like your under eyes probably still be good all day long. You probably just get oily like where you get oily at. But it takes a long time for my oils to break through. Okay. But once they break through, I even think it look cute when the oils finally break through. Like it mixed in with all the powder. Give you a more natural look. I need to look. Okay, is this even? Alright, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Medium Deep Powder. I dip it in, get the powder, press it on the back of my hands, then I put it on my face. And like I said, I have dry skin, so I don't need a lot of powder a lot of powder can get real crazy real quick and i'm gonna feel it because my face just gonna be like and that that shit is uncomfortable uh, and it's ugly it's ugly as shit like you think people be thinking like they the only people all right so now we got the face all set uh, now we have to do our brows and I'm not really doing like eyeshadow today. I'm not doing all that. I'm not really into that. But I don't even really wear eyeshadow like that anymore, anyways. I used to when I was younger, but it's like for what? Maybe if I'm like going out or something, I might do. But even then, I'm just not into like the whole extra eyeshadow anymore just a lot of work for no reason but it'd be cute it'd be cute and if you got the skills i feel like people little makeup artists and stuff like that like you got the skills to do it do it like i think we really like this shit so let's do these thin ass brows this is as thick as my eyebrows glow to. this is as thick as my eyebrows grow like that's as thick as it's gonna get <laughs> Cause these, I might have cleaned these up like myself a while ago. Cause if it, even when it comes down to like cleaning them up, like it's not too much that I need to do because they're thin as shit. You would think I was part of the era when they was like shaving their shit into sticks, looking like goddamn doodles. I ain't gonna lie, no, that was a look for some people. Like when you can get it off, you can get it off. That looks dry as shit. Dry as a motherfucker as they are. Now I just use Gas to be glue gel on my eyebrows. I like this though. I use this. It's just like using a goddamn, what is these called? A brow gel. Use a brow gel to keep your hairs in place all day long. And I just use that three because I always have it because I be wearing wigs. And I use this on my edges. I just, I love this shit. This shit is amazing. And it comes right, you wash your, it's gel. It's not like glue. I know when people think of got to be glue. They think of like it's like glue, like, but it's not. It's literally just a gel, a super ultra hold gel that works so fucking good for everything. And I use it on my eyebrows. It takes two seconds to let that shit dry down. I 
Oh my god, so very this church in it. Oh my now it look nicer than the feel outside. But it just like it's just very much giving me like spring is around the corner, bitch, and I cannot wait. I am outside, like I'm out I'm I'm outside for no reason. Like we've been working out, working on our body, working on our mental health, working on our financial well. We've been working on all that, our career, everything, like I'm outside, like I'm having fun. I'm making 2022 a year about fun. Like, I'm not stressing. I'm not worrying about nothing. I'm not worrying about what people think about me, what people say. I'm not worrying about none of that. I'm having fun. I'm living my best life. I'm 25 years old. I'll be 26 years this year. Like, I don't have time to waste. Like, I'm about to live my life. Like, my best life. Like, I thought this was going to be hard. Like, sitting here talking to a camera, but no. I talk to myself all the time, so like, that's what it's, it's like. I'm just sitting here talking to myself when I'm just recording myself do it, but. Yes, this and this color. This one was cool. This the two colors that I use the most. The rest of them is really good, but I told you I don't do too much eyeshadow and shit. But I might, cause these some cute ass colors, especially this burgundy. That's cute as fuck. Okay, let's go on a little bit. Okay. is the matte poreless fit me powder let's go to this is the closest to like my foundation color so i'll go in where i set all this set where it's still kind of light from the powder even like damn near over my whole face and just you know And that's, and look at the looks. Look at the motherfucking looks. Look how you that. Take the square file, let's see. Turned out like, it turned out really cute. Very like, natural beat. I guess you can say natural beat. It's getting very much natural beat for me. Like I could have went way more extra, so. 
yeah i love how it turned out i really not doing much today i just popped on a pair of hoop earrings because i got like just a two-piece on i got hair to do in a couple hours so i'm just about to chill eat watch something good on tv but if you like this video please like comment subscribe it don't cost you nothing to like you don't even have to comment because I mean, you can if you want to. Should I reply and subscribe to my channel? Share, share, share. Get it out to people. And just thank you for watching. And yeah. Peace. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bye, y'all. Like, thank you. Just thank you. Thank you. Bye.